Well, the shed dog says something has hit that rub. <laughs> Definitely been worked. We're in here today checking some of the trail cameras on these rubs. Uh, this farm, you know, was all <laughs> fun and games there back along about 1st of August there. Shed dog, you know, running wild, chasing bucks, carrying on. <laughs> but about two weeks after that, EHD hit here real hard, just decimated the deer. I mean, everything from mature bucks to fawns it killed. So we're just, I don't know. I haven't, a lot of the bucks I'd been seeing kind of disappeared. So I don't know where they're still alive or not, but uh, this rub here's definitely been hit. So at least one buck's still alive. So I'm gonna check a couple of these cameras today and uh, see what we got on them and uh, definitely start hunting these rubs here from now on it's like I say getting to be prime time here so the weather's good cool and supposed to be that way for the foreseeable future well I got home with the cards there and just uh, going through them here actually not too disappointing actually a couple of pretty good looking bucks on the rubs actually a couple of daylight photos even yeah there's a there's a pretty good one there. This this one here is actually the one the shed dog made a run at <laughs> earlier this summer. I wasn't really expecting this, but uh, check that buck out. <laughs> that's of course that's that big one I had all the velvet footage footage of this summer. He was actually. I mean, there was deer dying all around him where he was. I, I was just scared to death that he got the EHD, but I don't know, maybe he's immune to it or something, but but he's still alive and that's pretty amazing. You know, it's just hard to believe that, that he's still here. So I guess that's gonna have to be the target buck. That's the same rub that I've had there, I don't know, probably pushing 10 years, it's just on a real good ridge. It's actually where I passed that jawbreaker buck years and years ago, right on that rub. And every year there's, there's, and it's the same rub that the buck I shot there a couple of years ago that had the lamp there, he was on that rub. So, I mean, it's just a perfect, travel corridor from bedding area to a bean field ridge that they feed on. You can see in the other video there that he actually tore the rub apart there. I didn't have it stapled up there good enough with the wire. <laughs> actually kind of tore it down so I had to get over there and tack that wire back up on there. But. So it looks like there's a few bucks around and getting towards November here so I'm going to start gonna start hunting and it should be fun. As you can see I got the decoy set up here. But anyway just to update on the big buck uh, situation. So this is a pretty good observation sit tonight just on a looking over this bean field ridge. I've seen a lot of bucks come out here over the years and it's more just an observation sit. Just see if he's coming up here to this field edge. We'll sit back and see what shows up. But, like lay eyes on him in hard antler. He's pretty impressive, that's for sure. Well, I thought we were gonna see a decoy fight there, but couple of cows interrupted things. The buck, I saw him watching something. Look around there and a couple of cows walking up here. That's pretty cool. Too bad that wasn't that big buck. That's a mature buck there. Definitely grunted him over here. And definitely checking things out, that's for sure. Things are starting to pick up a little, I think.
well back after the end of night here and they just combined the beans there last night you would think they would be out on this stubble field here this evening uh, we're after that big buck I'm gonna have to name him I get tired of calling him the big buck we're gonna call him Red October on the count of he's got that one tine coming up out of the base it looks like a periscope the hunt for Red October that's a movie from way back when so sounds pretty cool so I guess the hunt for Red October begins uh, we caught him on a rub there's, a, there's like a ridge that runs down into heavy cover here and he's been on that rub two or three different times we caught him once there early and then we checked that rub a couple of days ago and he, he was on there that same morning that we checked it real hard and and like I've said before I think he's a buck that was in here last year and that buck was on this field quite a bit last year so it was a a real nice eight pointer come out here just at dark last night heavy duty definitely a mature buck so it'd be cool if he'd come out here I think he would actually come over here and probably work the decoy but I don't know there's a positive and a negative to hunting a Pacific buck but I guess knowing that there's that big buck Red October in here it's probably the one I'm going to hold out for so he's definitely the target buck that's for sure and we'll hunt that rub a couple times but I think it's right in where his core little bedding area is and right close there so I don't want to educate him too much early here so see what happens maybe he'll come out be a real good place to get some video of him if nothing else Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> That's exciting there. Oh, man. I guess the hunt for Red October is already over. <laughs> and I just, just got in the tree. It's just getting daylight here. I was just trying to put the camera arm in the tree and a little buck walked by here and I thought, oh shoot, I had, I actually heard another deer coming and it was red October here. <laughs> Walked right underneath the tree, uh, five yards. I didn't, like I say, I'm sorry I didn't have the camera set up, but I mean, I couldn't pass that opportunity. I, I made like a perfect shot on him there at five yards and he went about 40 yards over here and oh, I don't know what to say, this is, this is right on uh, the setup there first time I've been in here but right over here is that rub that he was on three days ago now on it real hard I, at eight o'clock in the morning there and uh, so we finally got a south wind it takes a south wind to hunt this stand and just got in here just breaking daylight here a little bit late getting to the stand actually but I should have been here five minutes earlier I'd have had the camera arm set up but Oh, that's awesome. But you can see the rub. Just This is actually the rub that I passed Jawbreaker on there years ago and uh, had a lot of good bucks on it. It's just a natural travel corridor. But November 6th today and uh, exciting stuff. But uh, will <laughs> give me a little time to calm my nerves here go down and take a look at him, but awesome. Holy smokes.
Well, <laughs> it's red October. I guess it's November, but still can't believe he didn't break that tine off. But uh, that's an awesome buck. I'll call my son here. He's going to come over and help me get him out of here. But oh, don't get any better than that. Well, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, glad you get over here before he went to work or whatever. Yeah, but. yeah that worked out pretty well. So. Yeah, he's not too far down in there, but I uh, doubt if I could drag him up out of here by myself. <laughs> but. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, but, yeah, right over there is where I was last night there on this field. So this is a field he's coming to feeding here, but... So he just kind of a ridge it goes right down into right down in here and that's where that rub is and so I knew he was staying in here pretty close so we'll go down and take a look at him. What do you think? <laughs> Definitely big. Jeez. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess the one we were after, I guess sometimes it works out. But. And definitely got plenty of footage of him this summer. Yeah, that's cool. Getting all that velvet footage of him and, and then get him on the rub up here too. Got some really good footage there. But. Definitely a nice buck. Really like this tie in here. <laughs> the hunt for Red October is over. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is the trail he walked up on. <laughs> like I say, a little buck went through here just right before him and I didn't even have my release on my bow, but I put the release on, heard something else, and he walked right up this trail. And uh, he was just about to get out of sight here. And I, I don't even think I stopped him. He was walking real slow when I just shot him right here. At, Five yards, here's the arrow. Definitely did a pass through on him, but I could tell I made a good hit on him and then he just went like 30 yards and stopped. And Close shot, I can make them if they're under 20. <laughs> the rub was just right up here. Like I say, it's like a 20 yard shot to the rub. It's a, just a real good little ridge here. Like I've said before, it's just a bedding area right back behind us and feeding area this way and this is just a transition real good ridge where they travel back and forth here I was just getting him on that rub there a couple of times early I just knew he was probably bedded right here so this is the first time I've set that stand and it's November 6th and he got a south wind this morning which worked out and there's been a lot of bucks on this rub over the years so he's not the first one to hit it that's for sure and i'm pretty sure like i've said before that he was here last year because there was a buck on this rub quite a bit last year too that has similar characteristics to him so i'm guessing that's the same buck don't ever let anybody tell you a horizontal rub don't work because they do well, this is a rub he's been on a couple of times. I haven't checked the trail camera today to see if he's been on there, but he definitely liked this rub, that's for sure. He definitely wasn't scared of the trail camera, and I got one right behind us, too, up in the tree there. But it's pretty cool to get a lot of video on these rubs. It's just 
cool footage and they definitely like him. It's been cool to shoot him off the rub, but it's kind of hard to pass him when he's five yards away. <laughs> it's awesome.